Hello, my love bugs. We are back with another video. We are doing a grocery haul today. As you guys know, I am on a fat loss journey and I am trying to focus more on the food that I am consuming. I went to Sprouts and did quite a bit of damage. I went right after the gym, which wasn't the best idea. I have like five bags of items. Um, just, yeah, we went a little crazy. But I am super excited to show you guys what I got. Quick disclaimer, I do not meal prep. Um, it doesn't work for me. It's never worked for me. It's just not my cup of tea. I always just never end up wanting to eat the food. And then I don't eat it and then I end up at Jack in the Box. So, all the food in these bags are pretty much like my safe to go to foods. I don't want to use the word safe, but I just know all of these foods are relatively healthy. And I can kind of mix and match them together to make certain meals of whatever I'm craving. You know, I know the stuff that I typically like to eat. And so I just kind of grab that stuff and then throughout the week, I'll make meals. Don't get me wrong, I have ideas for some meals. Like I know I'll make like chicken alfredo this week. I know that I'm gonna make a shepherd pie tonight. Like, you know, I know some of the meals that I have in mind, but I really like to just grab items that I know that are just healthy and I can easily grab and I don't have to think about it. So anyways, let's get into it. We'll start with this bag. These are my favorite pla plantain chips. It's like a banana chip, right? These are so freaking good. And the big, they also have like a chili lime one and it's so delicious. I grabbed these breadsticks because I love bread with my pasta. And these are just a little bit healthier than grabbing like a French roll. Plus it is easier to tell the calories on the back, which is something that I do look for because I don't want to have to be doing math in my head. I don't want to do that. Anyways, and then I got these blueberry scones to snack on. And these are my go-to. I love these little packets. This is like what I'm talking about, my safe and just like, I know I can have it and it's yummy and it's healthy and I don't have to think I just throw it in the microwave they also make sticky rice which if you guys know me I'm absolutely obsessed with more sticky rice anyways and then I got these bowls I haven't tried these before but I always just take these lentils and put them on top of rice so again I love the idea of just being able to heat it up and go I grabbed two and then I am going to make shepherd's pie, so I grabbed tomato sauce um, so I can put the turkey in there, turkey meat in it. I grabbed Annie's, basically like Cheez-Its, because I am still going to snack. Like, I don't want to lie to myself, but I just try to grab things that are like, I know that are good to snack on. I grabbed oat milk for my coffee. This is just because I love this sauce and I can't find it anywhere and I was shocked that I found it today. I can never find it. It's my favorite sauce. This is going to go in my salad, which I'm excited about. I'm going to make it after this. It's going to be like a huge chicken Caesar salad. We have some tomatoes. Again, that's going to be for the salad. I love olives and they're so good for you. It's one of the things that, um, so my tumor... They don't have a lot of information on it because it's super rare, but they do believe or have a theory that it is linked to certain vitamin deficiencies and stuff like that. I don't know. I don't quite understand it, but my um, cancer doctor told me to eat more olives. So that wouldn't happen again. And avocados. So I do that now. I eat a lot of avocado and a lot of olives. And then I wanted to try this ranch dip. I love ranch. I love dip. I love sauce and this is vegan and I'm not vegan but I like eating vegan because my tummy is sensitive and it just is better for my tummy red onion this is gonna go on many different things but I got it specifically for the shepherd's pie tonight which I'm so excited about I grabbed this cookie dough and I grabbed this ice cream which I'm gonna show you guys right now so I can throw it in my freezer I love cookie dough definitely like it's oh I love cookie dough it is my weakness I have to make sure I never like if I get a packet of cookies I will just eat the cookie dough all in one night we got shredded carrots for tonight's shepherd's pie um 
So if you guys have been following me, you guys already know that I love the Greek yogurt swap for sour cream. I don't do it on everything. Some things I do think need sour cream, but I'll be honest, for the most part, I don't really taste a difference. And I like the fact that I get like an extra helping of protein. Unfortunately, they didn't have the zero fat one, which is the one I typically get. So I just got the 2% plain one. So we'll see if I like it, but hopefully it won't be too different, but I typically like the zero one. Ooh. I'm gonna make salmon bowls and I'm gonna put pico in it. Oh, so excited. I got two things of lettuce. This is the one I normally get, but they were out. So then like after that one, so then I grabbed this one. So I can make the old salad. My coffee crema. Okay, now these are my favorite nuggets in the entire freaking world. I love these. These are like so freaking good. I love them. I love them. I love them. I love cheese. So we got a little bit of these to snack on. I'm a big snacker. I used to be like... I would want to eat a big old meal and don't get me wrong usually dinner time like you guys have seen my videos i will make a hearty big meal for dinner but throughout the day i don't really tend to eat like a big old meal i just kind of snack and then dinner time i do have something big but that's why i have like a lot of like little things i can snack on we have mashed potatoes i always get mashed potatoes the turkey for tonight's shepherd's pie. We have pre-made avocado smash because all of their avocados just like weren't thriving and I didn't want to get bad avocado because then it's like a waste. So I won't use it. And then I got some grilled chicken for my salad right now because I told you guys I'm going to make that Caesar salad. I might make it on TikTok. I don't know. We'll see. And then I got some already made sweet potato so I can put it in my salad. Love. And then I got oh, oops, I got bagels. I'm back on my bagel trick. I love bagels. They're not bad though. I got some naan because I like to have it with my protein bowls and stuff. I told you guys I'm gonna make chicken alfredo. I already have the alfredo sauce, but this is the pasta I'm gonna use. I got some blueberries. Again, this is one of the things that the cancer doctor told me to have more of is berries. So now I do have blueberries and strawberries quite often. I used to not really love strawberries and blueberries, but I kind of like, I don't know, made myself like them and now I really like them. Kiwis because they are a must. Again, another really easy snacking food that I can just pick up and eat and I know I like. And then I haven't tried these yet, um, but I've been looking for a protein bar so I can have something to eat either mid-workout or right before my workout that isn't too heavy. And I've tried mixed ice cream before and I really liked it. So I grabbed a couple of their bars. I just grabbed two flavors. I grabbed the peanut butter one because I always love peanut butter, so it's like a safe bet for me. And then I also grabbed... It's like just regular milk chocolate one. So anyways, I'm going to try it with you guys right now because I don't know, I'm just interested to see if I like them or not. Yeah. They are 4 grams of carbs, 15 grams of protein, 170 calories. Not bad. That's really good. Wow. Wow, I'm kind of shocked. I swear to God, this isn't sponsored. My God, bro. Oh. Don't get me wrong. It tastes like a protein bar. I hate when, like, health influencers... I'm like, it doesn't even taste like a protein. Yes, it does, Sandra. It's like my, um, yogurt dupe. It ta I, I don't taste much of a difference, but it tastes different than sour cream. It's not a swap, like, 100%. You know, you're sacrificing. Anyway. All right, let's go. Town, town, you guys. Honestly, not bad. I think while I also have you guys here, though, I'm also going to try this avocado dip with you guys. 
this vegan avocado ranch dip. So my go-to healthy ranch is Bolt House. To me, it tastes no different. Here, I have their Caesar. And this is also the dressing I use for my salad. I do this Caesar, see, 50 calories. And it's creamy, it's thick, like mama. Like, so freaking good. Same with their ranch. Their ranch is a little bit more watery, but out of all the healthy ranches I've ever tried, I don't taste a difference. I love that ranch. I go for that ranch because I love it so much. We we're all out, and so I didn't want to leave without any ranch. Because like I said, you guys, like I'm a sauce girl. I will leave calories for sauce because I know that I will want sauce. I don't think there's anything wrong with it. It makes my food so much better, in my opinion. I can't open that stuff. Okay, there we go. Oh. This isn't good. I'm going to be so sad. I think it was like $5. Here's the front. Okay. Mmm. 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 Okay, 10 out of 10. 10 out of freaking 10. I can't believe this is vegan. Holy shiz, you guys. This is so good. I should get going. I should put this food away. But thank you guys for hanging out with me. Thank you guys for being here. I will share more of the meals that I will be eating throughout the week. But I guess kind of want to do show you guys like how I do my grocery shopping and the type of food I get. Um, I think a lot of people think when you go on a health journey that you have to like forego a bunch of like good fun food or like snacks and stuff. And I maybe am not where I want to be, but I'm way far down the line of where I was. And I've maintained and I've had a good healthy lifestyle while still eating like normal processed people food, you know, whatever. Anyways, there was a time in my life where I definitely couldn't afford food like this and I ate a lot worse and I was still healthy. So anyways, I just wanted to show you guys this, but I hope you guys have a beautiful day and I will see you guys tomorrow for In Bed with Slim. You guys are absolutely perfect. Bye-bye.